it's a contest between 20 universities to build and construct a completely solar home. The students come together, develop it, bring it to Washington, D.C. They all show off all the different innovative things they do. Well, what we're building on the, the bare essential technology level is a solar powered house, which means that this house can operate completely independent of the grid, provides all of the energy that it, it consumes, even an electric car, are all powered off of the energy we collect from the sun. It was a year of design, making architecture drawings, redesigning, redesigning, and then we actually started construction this June, so we've only been doing construction for about two months now. We have 34 uh, solar photovoltaic panels, which is extremely oversized for a house this small. For the competition purposes, it's the Ferrari of solar homes. It's a one bedroom, it's built for two people, but it's fully functional, it has kitchen, full-size bathroom. Where we're standing is the living room. You can can see above you, this is actually one of the more innovative things we put together in this house. These are bamboo I-beams. They're the only one of their kind in the country. They're completely sustainable. You know, the really great thing about bamboo is that it grows four times as fast. It grows as a grass, so when you cut it down, you know, it grows back from the same root structure. We developed these here at Santa Clara University for the Solar Decathlon, uh, so we're pretty excited about those, and they're patent pending. Another really cool thing in this room is this is a nano wall, which is basically a wall that is also a window. Uh, the problem is with windows and green homes is that they're thermal leakage points. So you release heat that you don't want or you gain heat that you don't want. The really good thing about a nano wall is that it's highly insulating. Walls and windows are measured in these things called R values. Windows have an R value of about two. Uh, walls have an R value around 20. So the nano wall has an R value of about six, which is great for something that's also an architectural feature you can see through. It lets in natural light. We're also working on all sorts of conservation, not just energy. So we have a low flow shower head, and a dual flush toilet that flushes either 0.9 gallons or 1.6 gallons. So all our paints are low or no uh, VOCs. This is something that you know you could put in your own home. It has low volatile organic compounds so that it doesn't chemically off-gas during its lifespan, so you're not sitting in your living room breathing in volatile organic compounds that are you know, aggravating your respiratory system or something like that. These windows will all have this coating on them. This is an electrochromatic film. It either shades or it completely goes clear. Uh, so it's got these thin wires through it. It's basically a film you paste on top of any re regular windows. Our control system senses the outdoor and indoor environments and then it tells this film whether or not to shade if we want to block the sun and heat or if we want to let just the light in but not the heat, it'll shade. Uh, different levels. If you look up there, that's denim insulation. It's made of recycled blue jeans. It's 100% recycled. You know, the reason we're using that is that it's really highly insulating. Again, it has that high R value. I'm excited about it because homes and buildings are 30 to 40% of the carbon footprint in, you know, in the U.S. Homes are right at that intersection between the environment and, you know, human quality of life. And no one can really argue that that's not important. One of the biggest surprises in this whole competition was how readily available sustainable materials, green technologies, and energy efficient technologies exist. The Solar Decathlon is about making a model that can be copied. It's about the buildability and the flexibility and the marketability. If we only have a niche group of people that are able to produce a really green house, that doesn't do a lot for the world.